Hey everybody, welcome back to Frostpunk 2. I want to call out a great and helpful comment uh, that may have changed the way that we place certain districts here. Uh, when we were placing our uh, res residential districts here, and you need to fill those bars to get the bonuses provided by the, the wind protection. You, If you fill those three bars and then you put the rest of your district in other areas like above, you get it for the whole district. So in this area, we probably could have gotten a little bit more wind protection across the board for uh, more of our uh, housing. But something to keep in mind going forward and uh, pretty cool, pretty cool little call out. Now, let's, uh, let's just take, let's take this little thing down here, see what they want. And then we got to go explore because we got a bunch of extra Frostland teams from that uh, warehouse thing. Okay, when one door closes, the first crack. Steward. The faith keepers have begun their monthly processions, visiting each door in the city as a symbol of the captain's presence alive in every home. However, a select group of Frostlanders refuse to leave their doors open. We aren't getting in the way, we just don't want strangers barging into our homes, one says. We're all one flock under his wing, urged a priest. How can we be united if one of us steps away? What should we do? Interesting. <laughs> so... Man, it's really grouping a lot of the Faith Keepers and the New Londoners together. If we say everyone's open, then that's going to help our two main groups, and it's going to hurt with the Frostlanders. I might have to toss the Frostlanders a bone once in a while, though, because ultimately, we haven't done anything for them. And they are still a pretty big part of the crew. So, we are going to say, listen, we're all one people, nothing to hide. Everybody, do your thing. I've had a few people ask to see more shots of the city as well. I definitely would like to, but if I'm just looking at the city, it's hard It's hard to do all the other things we need to be tackling. Okay, let's go out and uh, go to the Frostland. We said we were going to go and get these people because I need more workers. It's only five uh, teams, and uh, those workers will let us build more things. So we're going to do it. Out at the Frozen Bay, should I go out there? What are we doing out here? We're charting this area right now. Time left, 11 weeks. These ones are too dangerous. We're definitely not going there. I mean, okay, let's go out here. It's safe. I only need 10 teams. I still have an extra five, so I might as well. Okay, now back at home. What are we gonna do? There's not a ton that I can actually build. Uh, now that people are coming in, maybe I just expand my housing district. It's gonna use the remainder of my uh, my workforce, but there's not much else I can do with the workers that I have currently. I don't really need to stockpile because I'm not really gaining a whole bunch of extra things here. This could increase uh, or decrease heat demand in neighboring districts. It's not bad, but let's go ahead and do this for now because we, ha we are going to have people come in and they're going to need places to live. Let's do this, and it's a bit weird, but we can also get the heat from the uh, food district here. Can I actually fit that? Let's do it like that. Okay, the goal is to find a permanent source of fuel outside the city. What is that gonna look like? <laughs> great, great question. Great question. Is there anything you can do? You could hold evening prayers for us to raise trust, which is already pretty good, and raising significantly. Also, I saw some comments asking, like, do we see any of those, like, callouts, the text callouts? We do. I think you only see them at slower speeds. Maybe only speed one. Kind of tells a little bit of story, right? And that's pretty cool. I do like running at speed one. The thing is, sometimes there's nothing that I can do, and so I have to just speed up until we get to a spot that I can do something. Okay, what do you guys offer? I can make promises, grant an agenda, let them choose the next thing. That seems a little risky to me. And then these dudes... Yeah. I could try to make them a promise. Pick one of three options to promise something that furthers their view. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, start a quest to research heat recycling. Heat demand in housing districts goes down. That could be great. Research heat recycling. Yeah. 
Expedition support. Everyone must aid expeditions by helping them prepare for their journeys. So exploration time would be down. Or promise to pass durable goods. Make the best use of scarce uh, resources. We'll focus on producing sturdy and easily repairable goods. Goods demand per capita is slightly decreased, which is a problem that we have right now. Um, I feel like redirecting excess heat from industrial machines could be... could cause, like, a sickness thing. Uh, that's just a guess, but it could happen. But research is something I can definitely control, whereas if I have to pass these council things, it's a little bit more challenging. So, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll research heat recycling. Can I do that? How come it's not letting me do that? Weird. Uh... There we go. Okay. Let's go into here. Resources. Waste heat conversion. We will redirect excess heat from industrial machines to neighboring districts and infrastructure. Now, these guys want to go into heat overclocking. The excess heat produced by industrial machines will be re-injected back into the machines to allow them to operate at higher capacity. You know what? We're going to, like I said, we're going to throw them a bone here. Let it happen. They're going to be pumped about that. Council recess, three weeks, four days. Not a problem. Uh, heat is going to drop here, or temperatures are going to drop, I should say. Which is uh, slightly problematic. I do have the, the extra workforce in now, though. That happened very quick. And this can be totally dismantled. So let's go ahead and demolish this. This exact extraction district. So we're going to have to get more prefabs going. But I can put my... Uh, my other extraction districts up to full power because I have the workforce now. And what I can start doing is frost breaking, or sorry, extracting these bad boys. Let's do that. So we have a bunch of extra workers at our disposal. The biggest thing we don't have is the, uh, the heat stamps here. A lot of this is because of our goods. So the next thing that I feel like we need to build here is an extraction district. We have the heat to handle this. We have the workforce to handle this. This is going to give us some prefabs, but I, I probably want to switch this to goods. So we'll see how it goes. Now, where am I going to place this? I kind of feel like we should place these out in their own little area. Let's do it. We've wanted to place that for a while to try and get the goods under control. But they do produce prefabs as well. And I think we'll have to, like, toggle between the two. And then going out here for a bunch of materials, that'll be helpful. This one for the infinite food, but I need that deep drilling. And this is working out pretty well over here. This food district. And then I also have unlimited supplies... Oh, that's the same forest. Yeah, these are both the same thing. Deep melting drill building. Now, how can I find that? How do I know what leads to that? Deep melting drill building. Uh, factories, hothouses. I feel like that would be a resource thing. Compensation, society, hubs, frostland. It's probably a resources thing. So if I go into sawmills, that probably... Yeah, okay. This probably leads us into something else like that. But we'll wait until that's done, obviously. What's happening out here? Anything? Two weeks, six days. Okay. Feral children. Steward, five children are dead and dozens lay wounded after two large youth gangs met for what they call a rumble. Most of the children were armed with knives. Yeah, this is my, this is my colony, okay? This is what I have. It's the best I got. Most of the children were armed with knives. The fighting escalated to a full-scale battle as the parents of the disease mourn. Many insist the children should not have been left unattended. Indeed, many backstreet alleys seem to be overtaken by uncared-for youth. Some areas are beginning to be dangerous even for adults. 
Persistent lack of law regulating childhood is causing crime and tension to rise further. I will handle this. 30 weeks to pass family apprenticeship or mandatory school. Yeah. I will handle that. Not a problem, guys. Not a problem. Okay. Let's go hyperspeed. Now that this is here, check this out. Okay, so you can produce a couple of things. We can do prefabs, which we see here, right? 27 per week now. Or I can switch this over to goods, and that's going to set up... Uh, let's see. Do I see... Uh, how much do we get here? 27 per week? Is that what I'm seeing? Base modifiers from paid essentials. Let's see how that's going to stack up. Frostlanders demands met. So, relationship with the Frostlanders met. We toss him a bone. And it was it was a fine bone to toss, I think. I have a lot of trust here. Emergency shifts, baby. Send them. Let's get these goods up there. Let's get those goods up. Okay, council is in session. Let's regulate these children. Heat demand and housing. Oh, wait. Uh, oh. Okay, so I have to do this here. Interesting. Yikes. Okay. These are my people. These are my people. I need them to vote with me. I'm going to have to negotiate. This is against their worldview. The new Londoners, I, I need them. I need them to, to vote for this. And then we can enact mass-produced goods. Is that in contrast to the other thing that we were doing? Or, everyone must support the production of prefabs to help the expansion of the city. Main district produce a small amount of prefabs. Yeah. City development efforts. I like that. I like that. Toss down the vote. The eyes have it! Love it. Pass any law in the childhood category. So that's the next thing that I need to do. Take note. A new rule enters in the fall. Okay. Frozen Bay explored. Let's check this out. Okay, we got lots happening. Battered foothills. Rusted engine. The jettisoned secondary engine of a dreadnought. Under its hull, we found a core, an irreplaceable component from before the frost that we can use to power most of our advanced technology. Fissures and ice suggest the dreadnought traveled to the frozen bay long ago. And that frozen bay is over here. Interesting. We could dismantle or come back later. We would get two cores. We're going to take five frostland teams. Do it. Over here, we have a possible settlement. The approach trail is in poor condition, but we found a warehouse with prefabs the captain intended to use to improve it. We could take them or leave this in place if we want to use the mine again. Using the mine will take fewer Frostland teams. Future miners will appreciate and maintain trail. I think that makes sense. Longer term. Build a trail or skyway. Okay. Connect trails. That's going to require some teams. And it's, okay, this is going to give us coal. Yes. An outpost here can increase your coal supply by 250 coal. That's big. Let's connect these trails. So, I think we can only go as far as this. And we need to get it back to our base. Yeah. So, there's the cost... It's, it's going to be 75 bucks, 15 prefabs, and 10 of our teams. And that's okay. So let's check the frozen bay here now. In a cavern near the bay, we found a disturbing sight. Bodies in sturdy frostland gear, neatly laid side by side and left to freeze. With black oil markings over their eyes. A ghastly burial ritual. A map we found suggests they were heading to an old machine somewhere in the desolate coast. So this is now active. I see. A machine would require a source of fuel. 
We should investigate. Okay, noted. A community of Frostlanders are eking out a pitiful living off of moss and fish. Let me just see here. How's my housing? So I'm still minus 17. If I bring these guys in, I'd have to go ham and build a few houses here. I could, pr I could probably do it. And now that this is going to be increased when this is done, maybe that's what we wait for. Let's just be chill. Wait for that to finish. So we get that extra coal coming in. Then we go and get these Frostlanders. Okay. And then what's this in the battered foothills? Towering structure often attracts outcasts and scavengers who would rather live together in cold isolation than follow the laws of New London. The settlement has been in decline since the collapse of the observation tower. Some may be willing to reconsider their situation and join us. Again, more people. We need a new and stable source of heat in New London to be convincing all of them. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's let's wait until we find a stable source of heat. It seems like that's not the stable source. So I have to continue out here. I'm really stoked that we got all those extra expedition teams. That's super helpful. Squalor is growing. Ensure steady supply of materials for maintenance or research buildings to fight it. Okay. Okay, so this place needs to be repaired. 56 prefabs. Yeah, our materials are under. Materials are under. I need to start, I need to start getting to these, to these and supplementing that. Cause it's, it is getting a little out of control. I'm gonna take care of my people first. Crazy, I know. So see how these ones are not technically getting that? Uh, from what the comment was saying, these are all going to benefit because um, three of them are benefiting. So as long as you're filling that, that bar, I guess. Now what's interesting here, this is providing 34 per week, I guess. We'll see. Because is this number actually changing? I think I might need to build more of these to offset that, actually. And now I need the workforce again. Hmm. Can I wait for the Frostland thing to be done? How long is on this? Because that's going to increase my heat. Then I can drop the heat from over here. I can, Or I can drop the uh, workers from here and get more to do that stuff. Okay, a scout. We have a council, but will anything actually change? For years, the faith keepers have had their way, but if this is a chance to block some of their idiotic ideas, we should show the city reason. Convince them to adapt to the frost, to embrace the new ice age, and tear ourselves away from the generator. I'll speak with the others. Those who disagree with faith keeper views gather and discuss how they can change the city. That's not great. Are now officially wow, okay, things are just city. coming at us Evolve hot and fast elements. here. We'll be joining the next council session. We have a new group called the Evolvers. 5% of the city, small group right now. They prize cold rationality, personal achievement, and adaptation to the frost by any means necessary. So I have a feeling like these guys in the Frostlanders, I assume this is split by side, right? The Frostlanders and the Evolvers over on this side, and then the New Londoners and the... Um, religious dudes over on that side. They dislike some of the things we already have. Well, <laughs> I didn't invite you, okay? Or maybe, maybe I did. Adaptation, merit, and reason. Unlock train workers' community action. They'll train workers to drastically increase productivity. Okay. I need better relations with them for that, which seems like it would be good. Pass a law in the childhood category. That's next. Idea tree here. Let's look at these sawmills. So. Massive sawmill, which frozen wood is cut into usable materials without undergoing any treatment. Evolvers agree. So these two are together. I, I, I see where this is going. I see where we're headed here. 
or mechanized sawmills. Massive sawmill loading frozen wood directly into mulching machines that separate usable materials. So we get higher output from this, lower workforce requirement, squalor goes up versus disease going up, and it takes, it's a lot more heat demand though. A lot more. A lot more heat demand. But we are going to get a bunch soon. And if we find that permanent source, that's great. Let's let's stick with our let's stick with our crew right now. Stick with our crew. Crime in the city. It's risen to a concerning level. Yeah, I know. Watchtowers and prisons may become necessary. It's also worth examining our laws. Yeah, I I'm I'm on it. We need to do the childhood thing. That will help with some of it. That will help with some of it. Two hundred ninety-five, two hundred ninety-one. We're up to two thirty now. Does that mean this was completed? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna drop this a bit. Okay. That leaves us with seven eighty-six. And now we're gonna start extracting here. This is one of the reasons that uh, crime is high. Oh, and the goods. Yeah. Oh, squalor. Yes, that's right. I knew that. Yeah, I had that unlocked before, and then now I'm good. I'm, I'm dialed back in. This outpost is active. That's very cool. I have 10 more teams now. What's happening out here? 14 weeks. It's just very far, hey? Let's do it. Um, I could ask these guys to come in now. Oh, hello. An outpost here could increase our supply by 100 food until a deposit of 100,000 is depleted. Yes. Okay. Can use a village to provide fish for New London. Now, do I need to... It doesn't look like I need to set up a, a path like on that one. But that's great. That's a nice little surplus we got going on there. Just check in to make sure we're cool with everything. Take a bigger glance. There we go. Faith keepers support the steward. Devoted relations. As long as they're devoted, their performing sermons perk will remain active, which decreases tension. That is great because crime is going up right now. Okay. We should maintain their approval. Performing Sermon's perk remains active. That is very cool. Do we get to see where those perks are in here anywhere? I almost wonder if I should publicly announce my support here. They're going to gain members and secure additional seats in the council. I think that's good for us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're running it. We're going faith keepers, baby. Perform your sermons. P all praise the we're calling it the Lily May after the child that was born at the same time that it turned on, okay? Unmet demand for goods. Yeah, this is really uh Okay, this is really a challenge here to try and balance all of this. I'm going to maybe take something like this. The evolvers Build more of these, try to get those goods in intact. Free prosthetics consultation every Tuesday. Fishing village, central district, food district. That was great because we just got like a big surplus of people. So finding that thing out there was awesome. I have to repair this, unfortunately. So these are my current prefabs. I don't have any others, though. So eventually our industrial district is going to need to rapidly accelerate. Yeah, 
it's going to need to rapidly accelerate. Council law. Let's go, um... What were, the, what were the promises I have? The Evolvers? But I have one that's ending a little sooner. This is the new Londoners. Time left one week? Uh-oh. Is that accurate? Any law in the childhood category? Yeah, childhood. Okay. So let's let's do this. Research speed up or percentage of active workers increase. So we're basically saying, hey, uh, go to school or family apprenticeship and become workers. We have... Um, obviously, the, the faith keepers are against this. Okay. However, we could use this to help gain some, some favor with the evolvers. And like I do feel like at my my heart of hearts, this would be better. This would be better. But the income per capita decreases, which sucks. But it's not about what I want. It's about the betterment of my people. I'm respected here, so. I almost wonder if I can just let this vote ride. I just want to see what happens if we just let this one ride. Because I am respected. My trust is high. What if I actually... Hold on. I'm just going to... I'm just going to try something here. Turn off emergency shifts. That takes my trust just over that little threshold, eh? Go into here. I'm more trusted. Wonder if that helps my vote here. Let's see. I'm not going to try to negotiate. I'm just saying, let's vote on it. I need 51. It's not climbing as fast as I would like. No. Oh, rejected. All right. It's rejected. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I feel like this time left is probably bugged. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, I can try it again in 10 weeks. But guess what, guys? Emergency shifts are back on. Okay? Now, uh, materials are coming in a little bit, which is nice. We're going to build more of those. I would like to uh, build more of these, even. Let's do this. So just to get access to that, and we can build on these ones if necessary. 139 murdered by violent criminals. Dude, we need to solve some crime immediately. Can you guys do anything? What about you guys? More heat stamps required to fund them. What kind of favors can you guys help me with? Anything? Is it all funds? Fun projects. Hmm. I might use some of this relationship here. To take some heat stamps. These guys have quite a few that they could give me. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I need that cash because I, I need I need our people to be ready. This is gonna be 200 workforce. This is a 600 workforce. The goods are definitely a problem, man. We're building this one, so I'll put that into goods. Um, but I think if I don't have housing for my people, that's going to be a bigger issue long term, is it not? I'm going to need to frost break over there soon.
Let me do that now, actually. Okay, things are getting a little sketch. This Frostland exploration has taken a really long time. Let's speed things up here. Okay, heat demand is decreased. That is great. Let's simmer this down. We're not going to drop for a little while. I guess we could be just stockpiling, but um, I think keeping it open-ended so that we can do other things is going to be helpful. Why is this not... Oh, yeah, it's not finished. What kind of buildings can we put here? Frostland teams, blasting coal mines. Maybe I could drop down an extra research institute now. Is that really what I want with my workforce? You know what? No, it's not. It's not. All right. This is online. So that's almost pretty good. I need prefabs. Cutthroat economy. Steward, now we are charging for essentials. Some unemployed families are unable to afford basic necessities. Work goes to the worthiest. If these people were passed up, it's their own damn fault. They should put in the work instead of delegating or expecting the city to solve their problems, claimed one Evolver's delegate. Others are more measured and say we could provide them with a weekly allowance. If we can't offer them work, we'll give them a budget. Up to them to use it wisely. Ugh. These heat stamps, man. Let's toss him a bone. I feel bad. I feel bad. I'm going to turn that into goods production. There we go. So if I do, like, one more of those, one more industrial area... We're probably in a pretty good spot. Start frost breaking these. Prefabs are tough right now, man. Emergency shifts. Hate to say it, my trust is dwindling a bit. It's okay. We're getting this stuff in line. And that's that's important to me here. Let's pop this up by one. Now I need more people. Oh, that's an... Oh, I built the wrong district. Oh, no. Oh, I built the wrong district there. Or no, wait. Sorry. No, I didn't. I, I, I excavated. I thought I did something really bad there. All right. It's okay. But what I do need is I now I need more people to join. Crime is notable. Squalor is notable. Stuart. Stuart. Evening prayers, go. All right, let's see what that does here. Materials now. Beware of frostbite. Keep your face and ears covered. Desolate coast explored. Hit me up. 
Oh, okay. Could this be our permanent source? We found oil! Yes. We'll be able to build a new colony on this site. Ruined machine lies across a crevasse. Wagons spilled into the nearby snow. Clear signs that people have come and gone from the site, even storing goods here. But what amazed our scouts the most is a huge quantity of oil. This could be the fuel source that we're looking for. Boom! Okay. Now, oil tombs, nomads. On the broken shores lies an old derelict dreadnought. It seems to have been upgraded to run on oil as it rests beside rich deposits. Perhaps the site was a refueling station. Deep in the black pools lie rows of frozen bodies wrapped in shrouds and placed in the still wells. Our scouts shudder at the site. These oil deposits would surely solve our fuel needs. We'd have to desecrate these graves to access them. They're dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> we need all the fuel that we can get. Oil will save the city, but we need to adapt our generator to use it. In the meantime, we'll need to establish a reliable supply. It's time we settled beyond New London. Create a colony on the old dreadnought and connect it with the solid trail to New London. Only then can supply be assured. Okay. So... I'm going to need a core, which I have. I need 20 teams, which I will have. 100 prefabs, which I will have. Connecting this path is going to be a little unfortunate. It's going to be very expensive. And take four weeks. Twenty teams. Okay. So I think we need to just we need to survive until that happens. There's a lot of cores here. I could do that with five teams. And here, oil cistern. No point in taking the oil until we learn how to use it. And mountaineers, no point in taking the oil. We need to have operational scouts headquarters building. Alright, we'll uh, salvage these with our remaining teams. And then I think I, what I'll do is, we have 651 workers here. Hmm. To get more teams, I could build another logistics district out here or here. This is a little closer. We need to regulate the childhood stuff still. And then ideally we get another industrial place set up. And maybe maybe even another one after that. To, uh, to be producing prefabs. Because our prefabs is really bad right now. We have 784 remaining there. Uh, no more are available on the map. To my eye. Unfortunately. Materials is like, you know, we're hanging in there. Look at the city. She's alive, all right. If only just barely. During emergency shifts, people got injured. <laughs> Shocking. Shocking. Beaten and mugged. Oh my god. Come on. Let's go. Society, childhood. This is the one, right? Let's double check. Yeah, childhood needs to happen. So I'm going to need to make some promises here. I really want school. I know we need the workers, but I just feel like longer term, this will help us. Mind you... Do, do I just focus on the ultimate goal? You know, like, this is the struggle with this game. It's like, I want these kids to go to school. <sighs> I'll just do this, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this one. I feel like I should be able to just win this vote. Straight up. But let's not take that chance. 
Frostlanders are the only ones open to negotiate, eh? I need them to vote four. Choose the next law. Interesting. Good. Yeah, you know what? This would be good. So they're going to want us to enact durable goods. Let's do it. That's fine. That's good. Because that will help our good situation. Okay. Hear ye! Hear ye! Alright. That'll also get us a bunch of workers, so hey. We'll take that. What kind of research should we do next? Is this the deep drilling stuff? Mechanized sawmill there. Frozen forest. Deep melting drill building. Oh, it's in here. Generator upgrade. Heating, melting deep deposits. Okay, my bad. Yeah, I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that. Fair enough. Heating. Requires 75... Oh, okay. So you can grab the same thing within these trees. But I need the oil in order to get there. Okay, so I'm not too crazy. It's locked behind something. Okay, let me see if there's anything that can help with uh, crime and squalor. And youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go into the youth here. Youth employment program bolsters the workforce, decreases heat stamps income. I uh, um. Dutiful youth, crime is down, percentage workers goes up. The faith keepers are all about putting the kids to work, eh? Youth volunteer duty city ability, which bolsters the workforce but decreases trust. The other guys don't have a, have a care in the world. I'm going to do this. Because uh, it won't decrease my heat stamps income, which is already not that great. We need to keep that for the food. We need to keep this for the coal. And I'm going to need to get 20 additional Frostland teams up and running. That should help with the crime. Let's turn off one of those. I need a hundred prefabs for this. I'm doing it. This is our biggest deficit, so if I can solve that problem, then great. Deposits running low. Coal's running out. Okay. Faithkeepers and New Londoners believe they can use explosives to access deeper veins of coal. The Frostlanders say we should send children for mist ore in the tighter tunnels. Some did this as kids themselves in the abandoned mine outposts they survived unscathed. Yeah, I mean... We're... we're it's all... It's all risky. Available coal goes up by 10%. I'll take that. There could be a risk still with the explosives, obviously. Can anybody give me prefabs by chance? Have guards 
force them to pay a large emergency contribution? Uh, it seems unnecessary. I don't think I can get prefabs from these guys. That's fair. We still have quite a bit in here. We're maintaining our coal production. I'll drop this by one and increase this by one. This one's at 106,000. That's fine. We just need to survive until we get to that space, right? That's our that's our goal. Let's just stay focused on the goal, man. All right. Now we're at minus five. So if we go... Emergency shifts on one of these. That puts us over. That's that's super good. Now, now, what I need is uh, extraction districts over here. I can do it up here. In this area next. Run it. And then the next district I need is going to be logistics. That'll get me 15 Frostlands teams. I can expand that with the uh, warehouse. Uh, here we go. Fire in the shaft. Coal's running out. Some of the Faith Keepers engaged in the rescue effort insist we can still save the mine by cutting off air supply to the shaft and suffocating the flames. We could lose the mine along with the deposit. Some miners are still making their way out. It'll suffocate them too. Yikes. I hate to say this. Uh... Okay, so we have a we have a cold dip coming up here. If I run one of these at max capacity, will that be enough to keep people heated is the question. It's going to reduce the coal by 50%. It'll destroy the blasting coal mine. But people will be saved. And my workforce is important. So are my people, don't get me wrong. We're going to reduce it by 50%. Gift boxes to the steward. Oh, okay. Well, it's just negative now. To avoid unnecessary queuing. Okay, it's being demolished. So maybe I can fix that later. What do I need for logistics here? 200 prefabs? Emergency shifts are just killing people. Yeah, it sucks, man. Maybe I can turn these ones off. And let's do this. Let's just expand here. Uh, or sorry. Let's expand here. There we go. Let's expand here. Because I just need a small surplus of housing there. Okay. This place is totally empty. Demolish it. We're going to get a bunch of workers back there. And now I can just bump this up and we still have enough. When that cold hits, I'll still be able to push this a bit. If I need to go overtime shifts, then fine. And I'll get prefabs back from this. So that's good. Look at this, guys. Things are in the gold. Can you believe it? Dutiful youth. Young adults participate in volunteering activities under the supervision of elders who teach them moral values. Yeah. So when these, like, lead into each other, it's kind of interesting. Negotiate with delegates and try to influence the way they vote, but I can't because there's too many promises. Oh, interesting. Hold on, then. Can I clear another promise? I can't. So I'm just... I just have to do their vote.
I'm accepted. Is there anything I could do to build a little bit of trust real quick? How long an evening prayer is? 14 weeks? It's a bit long. It's a bit long. That's my only emergency shift running. Okay, well... Let's see what happens. Come on! Oh! Mm, baby! That's a tight one! Spoken. That's a tight one. Takes okay, these guys are now skeptical. They're our smallest faction. Let's chill out. So now... Six weeks left on this? Okay, so I am not gonna make that promise. They're gonna be a little choked. I got 15 teams available. Okay, so some of the teams are done doing their thing. So now I only need five. So, uh, 100 prefabs and 20 teams. So, my, my priority now needs to be getting this up and running, which is 200 prefabs, which, <laughs> you know, a bit problematic. I'm just reliant on this. Unless I wanted to demolish some other buildings. I don't know how much I'm getting back from this. It's not going to maximize it. Mourning the loss of our coal mine. I should be dead. I was last out of the shaft. I heard it crumble behind me. All that coal burning up, enough to support the city for months. Now whenever I go through the streets, I see all those young faces freezing over. I wish I could go back and shut off the damn air myself. But I'm here, so I'll work and work until I die in the mines to see those young faces grow old. Man. Needs more fuels and temperature drops. Yep, I know. Oh, actually, that is quite a few. Okay. Okay. The other thing I could do is shut down, like, I can't really shut down the coal, and, and I can't really shut down the food unless I want to build a whole bunch of other stuff. So, we're going to build this. That's going to get me the teams that I can then send. Please dispatch gift box. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I kind of feel like we weren't seeing all of the promises there. Very queuing. But maybe I was missing it. Yeah, that's... Running out of prefabs is bad. Which means I have to invest more in my industry so these can make prefabs. But this is kind of keeping things... Like, look at how excellent my city is doing right now. People could come... Like, people are going to join. There's what we need. And I have the prefabs. I'm sending right now. 3,000 colonists will settle here. Okay. I'm excited to see how that's going to go. Dutiful youth indebted to the past. Steward, a uh, group of dutiful youth members have come with a humble request. I was a rebel before, but old Mr. Feeney showed me the proper way to be a man, said their spokesperson. Spending time with him and his generation, we understand how much we owe them. Can't even imagine what it was like to survive the whiteout years, what sacrifices they had to make. He and his peers wish to organize a thanks and remembrance ceremony remem uh, during which they will reward the, the eldest resident... <laughs> I can't read words. Eldest residents from every community with medals and gifts. Ugh. My relations are already good with them. They can... They need to chill out. They're taking advantage of me, I think. And, like, our income here... Is not that... It's not that high. Let's be honest. I can't even frost break. Because I have no workforce. Yeah. If I just wait for this, then I can get more people, right? Let's watch it happen. Live.
Construction time, 15 weeks. Spinning dog here into yarn, Sue Miller. Ouch, my finger, these fucking spindles. Mrs. Boss Lady keeps joking I'll fall asleep and get woken up by a prince. I don't get it. If a prince came near me, I'd rob him blind, then make him do the bloody spinning. But it's a right. Gonna beat my record today. Nice strong yarn, Auntie Mabel says. If I can weave, I can work with her at the mill. Beats freezing in the streets. We got more people. You can see this. Old Dreadnought, baby. A group has a presence in Old Dreadnought. Now... Be reminded by Covenant of Soda. <laughs> this is actually... Okay, this is insane. Are you telling me... Are you telling me... That I gotta manage... Both places? Transfer at least 75 oil output to New London. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Okay, guys, we need to take a break here. Um, we got to take a break here. Everyone in New London is awaiting the moment we get a steady supply of oil. So many fears would vanish, so many dreams made possible. But those dreams seem to be diverging. Faith Keepers paint visions of an eternally warm New London, as warm as only the eldest among us remember. But Evolvers want us to use this newfound power to reach out and settle remote places on the Frostland. Evolvers can... You know? Both factions start thinking about how to use oil when it reaches New London. When it does, we'll have to decide. Okay. So now... Oh, look at this. So we can add a, get a, get at a glance look at our people. Resource transfer. Oh, whoa. Interesting. So you can transfer 250 of anything at a time, it looks like. Man, this is a whole other level of intensity here. So we need to produce oil, and then we need to send 75 oil output back. Wow. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take a pause here, guys. When we come back, we're going to start diving into managing two places at once. No pressure, no big deal. Um, wish us luck, because we're going to need it. All these places are dangerous. I feel like we need scouts headquarters or Pathfinder scouts to decrease threat level. Yeah, very intriguing stuff. This is wild. Okay, guys, thank you so much. See you next time.